Oh, I love trash. Dumpster cats. Wow. I just found some makeup. Nice. Hello, kittens. How are you doing today? I am doing amazing. Let's just grab this out. Let's set this here. Ah. Had a stressful, hellacious week at work. So, I am out tonight enjoying some non work, some fun in the dumpsters. And Hubby is a Papa Cat's at home because his kids, his daughter was over before I left. And I was like, okay, well, I'm heading up. He was like, okay. But he knew I've had a really stressful week, so... Well, actually, it's been a very stressful month, honestly. Um, work has just been ridiculous. I mean, I can't go into too much details, obviously, because... Uh, I don't want to lose my job. And it's not like it's going to do a dang bit of good because we were pretty much told that if we didn't like it, we could quit. So, I mean, it's kind of hard when you're told that. So, you kind of just got to suck it up, deal with the BS that's going on right now, and hopefully everything will get better but so all we can do is hope I want to know what's in that bag box anything worthwhile no just I can see the plastic I can see all the plastic see if I can grab it though come on come on so, I've just been, you know, trying to relax this week. It's, like I said, it's been crazy. This week, last week, I went to the doctor's Monday. Um, they told me now, due to my lack of nu nutrition, literally, that's what it is, my lack of nutrition, that... It has caused me now to have very low blood pressure. I mean, I used to have low blood pressure to begin with. But now it's like extremely low. Ooh, those are nice. So, I mean, same thing. These are brow pencils. And then we got some lip, line, or lip gloss, lipstick. Um, another brow pencil, some more eyeliner, brow pencil, empty box, oh what's in this one, what's in the brand new box, let's find out, oh we got lip gloss, yeah, boost me up, wow, nice, and then I thought I saw brushes too, makeup brushes, there they are, Crease brush is sweet. That's awesome. Got a nice little variety. Not too bad. Not too bad for the first stop. But there we go. So now I have to deal with its hypo. It's it has something to do with the fact that um, I'm now so malnutritious because you know when the IBS kicks in. I don't feel hungry because, you know, pain. So I tend to, you know, not eat properly or drink properly. So I've been having to, this past week, increase my fluid intake and try to eat more. And that doesn't sit well with me, the eating part. The increasing my fluid, I can, I can do that. 
so um I was they told me that I could do like the Pedialyte or the Ensure or the Boost to give you know to help with the meals that I'm missing because I can't you know eat like that it just makes me sick and with work and everything I'm on a very strict schedule with how I have to eat in that so I have a paperwork now documenting that I can no longer work than five hours a day um it's just been crazy kittens all right I'll hopefully remember what I was talking about at the next dumpster and continue there I'll catch you at the next dumpster. Wow! Dumpster cats. So, we're gonna pull that out. Grab the ladder. So, how are you kittens doing now? Hopefully, everything is still going beautifully with you. We got some eye drops and some tension headache medicine in here that I see. I seen it all sitting here and I was like, well, I guess I'll just pull that box out and it'll make it easier. And just throw it all up in there. And then we got all these lubricant eye drops too. Got some tension headache relief. And then some ibuprofen too. Sweet! This is an awesome score for the blessing box. We'll be able to get some medicine out to people. Awesome, awesome, awesome! So, like I was saying though, due to my fact that I started to, you know, pretty much starve myself, I became malnourished again. And this time my body wasn't taking it lightly um I went to the doctors because I was having issues with when I work I can't eat before I go to work so when I get up in the mornings anywhere from 1 to 1 to 3 a.m. on a bad day 3 to 5 a.m. on a decent day so I'm up Anywhere after three, normally. So I, uh, after that, I get in the tub. I drink my coffee. Get ready for you know the movement to pass, and you know so that I can have my bowel movement. I know what a conversation, right? Um, so. Normally, I'm in the tub from the time I get up until any time after, up until about 8.30. I try to get out before that so I have at least an hour to get dressed and, you know, take the rest of my pills and get ready for my day. Throw my hair up in a ponytail. Talk to pop a cat, see what happened, when, you know, before I, the night before, after I went to bed, see if anything needs to be, you know, told. Oh, sweet. I was hoping those were in there. So, I, uh, <laughs> I know what that is. Too bad it's empty. Those are vapes nicotine or whatnot. So I get up, you know, and I have to deal with that in the morning. I don't eat before I go to work. I can't. I can't have a, I can't chance that my body will want to, you know, have a movement while I'm at work. Because anytime I have a movement, I'm in massive pain like serious pain. It literally feels like Freddy Krueger's razor, razor sharp claws are on fire ripping my intestines out. 
That is why my doctor wants me to go back. They didn't find nothing with the colonoscopy, thankfully, you know. Um, but now we gotta figure out what else is going on and why my body is acting the way it is. You know, IBS isn't supposed to be such a hassle as it is. It's, it should not dictate your life. It should not tell you, you know, <laughs> it should not dictate your life. It's not supposed to kill you. It's just supposed to make you feel like you're going to die. Um, that was the best way that one of the uh, doctors explained it. So, <sighs> set that there for a second. So, um, <clears throat> now I go to the GI doctor tomorrow morning, figure out what the next step is there, if they're going to do the scope down me. Um, obviously they didn't find nothing going up, so now they're going to have to go down. So, I guess we'll find out tomorrow what's going to happen with that. <coughs> it's... Like I said, kittens, it's been one hell of a month. Mm. Before I forget, thank you again, Phil. You and your wife are amazing. You guys made this trip possible again, so thank you. I appreciate everything, all of your support. It means the world to us. Thank you so very much. All right, kittens, I will catch you. At another dumpster. Meow. Thank you for watching. If you liked our scores tonight, let us know. Hit that like button down below. If you're new and you like what you see, consider joining our litter and become a dumpster kitten. We love you kittens. Have a great day.